it is 34 degrees in the garage it is 26 degrees outside today with some car noise we're going to be tackling the rear brakes on a 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT 3.8 now we're going to be doing both sides but for this video I'm only going to be doing one this brake has the emergency brake oh, housed in it, I need gloves cool. normally I don't wear gloves because I don't like the feel we are going to remove the caliper and I have these hex bolts. They're not Torx, they're hex. And the size I use, I believe, is a seven millimeter. Exactly. So it's a seven millimeter. This is just a seven millimeter hex. There's a bolt on each side, one here and one here in the rear, that you're just gonna simply loosen. I'm just using my usual PB blaster here. I'm just going to spray a little bit around the top and let it run around. Why? Because this gets rusted a lot of times and uh, it's hard to break the rotor free. Here are the two screws I'm talking about. Okay, one right here and one the wrench is on right here. If you wanted to, you could just pull these out and I'm going to grease these in a bit. So they slide nice and easy, but for now, I'll just leave them in. Now, your brake pad is tilted up forward and lifted out of the way. Okay, with it lifted out of the way here, there's this little clip thing here. Now, you can take a regular screwdriver, so I'm not too worried about them. If I smack it with a screwdriver, you can pull the pad inboard and the outer totally out now I use a big C-clamp I'm tripping over air hoses ah. I use a big C-clamp and go over the entire piston now if you want you can leave your brake pad in there and that'll help with it and you just kind of squish it back in it goes in real easy and that's it so with that done don't let this hang on the uh, on the brake hose I just kind of hold it for a second what you can do is remember we squished that stuff we can actually start to jiggle our rotor off now remember there are brake pads inside of here because that's the emergency brake system so we're just going to jiggle this free here's our rotor and here is our, our emergency brake drum basically you can see there's a line of wear in mine they're nice rotors too but the holes are starting to crack from heat now's a good time to inspect your shoes actually and these are still in relatively decent shape because it is an emergency brake I don't ever use these check for any rust or cracks these two vents are supposed to be there and now we're gonna get our new rotor I just got this rotor at AutoZone it's part number uh, 5383 it's a Duralast it comes with a three-year warranty it's not their Duralast premium it's just Duralast when you take your rotor out of the box, it's usually wrapped in plastic. And it'll have a coating of oil on it. So what you wanna do is get yourself some carburetor cleaner here. And we're gonna spray this down to get the oil off of it. 
And with that, and a grease free hand, so I just slid it on. You can see my gloves were greasy, so I actually have grease on here again. So I'm just going to spray this down, and you can see it instantly dissolves it. Now, carburetor cleaner comes out very fast. Now's a good time to replace your pads. These are actually still good, but we're going to replace them anyway. Now, I have a habit of buying brakes too many times, so these are actually opened. Uh, these are MKD 858s. They are the rears for the van. Important thing to notice when you do your brakes, if you're doing both sides, don't get confused. Keep the orientation of this brake pad because it has this funky little clip thing. Make sure it's the same orientation because if you have just a box of parts and you just grab something, or you can grab one that's the other way. So make sure they're the same way and usually the tab goes towards the back. They just been sitting in the garage for a while. And comparing them to the actual original pads on here, you can tell they are pretty much the same thickness. But, we're going to grab an inboard pad and an outboard pad and do the same thing. So we're going to first put the inboard pad in, it just clicks in, like that. The second pad is a weirdo because it kind of has to be shoved in and I just kind of give it a tap. What you want to do is make sure that your pad alignment here Now it's kind of springing this action. I'm trying not to scratch my brand new rotor. And there, that holds it down. So now I'm going to take a little bit of grease. And what I use is I just use the chassis grease gun. This has a tube of like caulk looking crap in it. And you can squeeze out. This is just some red high temperature uh, grease for chassis lubrication. And I just run some around the shaft of it because this is what floats when you hit your brakes and you want these to be nice and goopy. And then reinsert and repeat for the other side. Usually you'll have enough grease on your hand where you can do both of them. And this grease, if you don't, I mean just grab a glob. It doesn't take much. This grease is heat resistant water resistant. Now remember when I was telling you about the grease you wash off? Look at this. That dark spot is the oils removed from that new rotor and my hand that one time. So now we're going to use our socket and we're going to tighten these bolts back up and I'm going to push in on this rotor a little bit. Minus my fingerprints I will give it another final spray. I guess I shouldn't use the crusty rag to wipe fingerprints off. I'm just getting globs of grease off. I'll give it one final quick spray of carb cleaner. Now this stuff comes out fast, but if you hold it just a little bit, it won't blast out at 600 miles an hour. We'll let that dry. Then we'll put our tire back on. And that is how easy it is to do rear brakes on a 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. I'm going to repeat this on the other side. So that's it. As always, thank you for watching. And I hope you learned something.